welcome back to Kolska Drones. Today we've got the Femi X8 SE, I just want to show you. It's not out yet, it doesn't come out until the 27th of February, it's just been released on Banggood. As you can see it's a folding drone, 3 axis gimbal, 4K camera and it shoots in 4K 30 frames a second, 100 megabits per second, which would be impressive if you can do that. 33 minute flight time, and it does look a really nice drone. So I'll just leave that up on the screen for a couple of seconds so you can read that. As you can see, it's got some really decent looking specs there. If they can deliver on that, the camera's specs are decent. It's got visual positioning sensors on it. And for £399, it'd be serious competition for the other stuff on the market. Uh, the Xeno, for instance, and probably the Parrot and Affe. As you can see, it's a really nice looking drone. It looks similar to the A3, but it folds. So the Femi A3, which I have on order, is stated to have a 24 minute flight time, but the ones I've seen so far are all at 14 minutes maximum. So with this 33 minute flight time, I'd certainly take it with a pinch of salt. I don't know if I'll order one of these. It all depends very much on the Femi A3 and how, how good that is when I get it and if I like it or not. But certainly the specs do look impressive and it looks a really nice drone. But it's good to see there's competition coming out now. There's a lot of stuff coming out around this kind of price point with 4K cameras for under £400, £300. And it, it's a great thing to see. Maybe it'll knock the price down from DJI. You'd have to think it might uh, take some of that market away from them, certainly the Spark market. Competition is always good. As you can see, your smart shot, thinny shots, it's got smart tracking, flight planning, panorama, and hyperlapse. So it's got quite a lot of stuff. It's got their version of Active Track by the looks. And as you can see, the waypoint planning. Now, what they've done away with this time from the A3 is the 5.8 gigahertz FPV system they have, and they're now running it off an app. So it, it runs with an app and an OTG cable between the transmitter and the actual unit itself. Now if you go back to the transmitter, they've also took the screen out that the A3 had. They've now made it so it slides and you can fit, this is an iPad mini that's in here, but it takes a phone and you can see the size of the drone here against that looks like an iPhone X. So as you can see, it's a good size, nice and small. So. The proof will be in the pudding. Let's see how good it is when it comes out. If I get any more details or I can get a demo video of this from someone, I'll post that on my site as well for you to have a look at. But in the meantime, have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching.